good morning from Little Corn Island, Nicaragua. Earlier this morning, I took the cargo ship from Big Corn Island over to the tiny slice of paradise known as Little Corn. Similar to Big Corn Island, Little Corn is part of Nicaragua, but located about 50 miles off the coast in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. Little Corn is extremely laid back and is home to only 1,200 residents. Instead of cars and scooters, you get around the island by foot and use a wheelbarrow if you need to transport something. So in today's video, I'll be taking you with me as we explore this Caribbean paradise. So let's get started. So to start off my time here on Little Corn, I am exploring the island the only way possible by foot. There is a little paved path that takes you around part of the island, but other parts of the island look something like this. You just have a little dirt path in the middle of the jungle on an island in the Caribbean and this is how you get across the island. So let's go and see what we can find. I do have to say that I really like this little bit of jungle atmosphere here in the middle of Little Quinn Island because on the outskirts of course you have the crystal clear beautiful blue Caribbean Sea but having this greenery and just a different type of nature is really, really cool and something that I am pleasantly surprised about. I am now just walking along the east side of the island where you have the beautiful Caribbean Sea and there are tons of really cool beach bungalows all along the beach. I am unfortunately not staying in one of those, but if you do come here to Little Corn Island on the east side, there is a lot of really cool accommodation right on top of the sand. walking to the north side of the island now to a place called Otto Beach and I'm just passing through the baseball field here on Little Corn Island. Baseball is the most popular sport on both Little and Big Corn Island which surprised me a little bit because I would have guessed it was soccer but learn something new every day. I've made it here to Otto Beach and there is not a soul in sight and the water is so inviting so I'm gonna go jump in now, cool off, and see if we can see some fish. That was a nice little snorkel, and what made it even better is that I am the only one on the beach here so I'm gonna go head back into town because I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. I am waking up very early tomorrow morning to go scuba diving and I am hoping to see some sharks. So I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. After a peaceful night's sleep with no cars, no noise, and tons of stars, I am now having breakfast at a place called The Shack. And true to its name, it is literally a shack on the beach. After a delicious breakfast, I am now walking across the island to the north side to my dive shop and I wanted to share a little more information on Little Corn Island with you guys. Similar to Big Corn Island, here on Little Corn they speak English, Creole, and Spanish. They have a delicious cuisine full of tons of seafood and coconut, but wait for it, they have one generator that powers the entire island except for a couple nicer places that have their own backup generator and every day from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. the generator turns off to save power which means no electricity. So on that note, I'll catch you guys at the dive shop.
Those were some awesome dives. We just descended into the crystal clear Caribbean Sea and swam with tons of different fish and nurse sharks. That was actually my first time ever seeing a nurse shark and it was really intrigued by us, constantly swimming by and honestly just begging for some of our attention. It was super cool. So I am now walking back across the island and I'm gonna get some food and continue to explore Little Corn Island. I am super hungry, so I'm walking to a restaurant called El Bosque, which translates to the forest. And as you guessed it, it is in a forest. So let's see what they got for lunch. For lunch, we got some curry stir fried vegetables with some delicious classic Corn Island coconut rice. So I'm gonna dig in and enjoy. Now that my stomach is content, let's go continue exploring the island and I want to show you guys what some of the local stores look like, which is where you buy your basic necessities and food. Hola, buenas. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so I just stopped by one of the local stores and I picked up a loaf of bread here. But this isn't any loaf of bread, it is a special island bread called pan de coco which is bread with coconut milk in it. Gives it a nice soft texture and a slight coconut flavor and it's delicious. So that gives you an idea of what some of the stores look like here. It's pretty basic. They have your rice, pasta, a handful of sauces, and some other staples. And there are a handful of stores just like that scattered around the island. But that's pretty much what you got in terms of supermarkets and grocery stores. So I'm just going to continue walking around the island and see what else we can find. I am just watching some of the local kids play some baseball and play in the sea right from my balcony. So I'm just gonna kick back, enjoy a little book, and relax in the tranquil island that is Little Corn. After another beautiful sunset over the Caribbean Sea, my time here in the Corn Islands is unfortunately coming to an end soon, but I can definitely say that the Corn Islands are worth making the extra effort to get to. If beautiful blue water, delicious food, and immersing yourself in a unique Caribbean culture sound interesting to you, then make sure to add the Corn Islands to your travel list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to help others discover the beautiful Corn Islands, don't forget to hit that like button and of course subscribe if you are not already for weekly travel vlogs. I'll see you guys next week.